Eric DaCosta is now two months into his new job as a general manager. So how's he doing so far? Yeah, the jury's still out. We're gonna, we're gonna keep evaluating here. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny moment. Near the end of today's press conference where we announced the contract extension for cornerback Tavon Young. And in all honesty, Eric has not wasted any time making his mark on this team since he took over the job. His first big move was the reported trade of Joe Flacco to the Denver Broncos. He then locked up Tavon to a three-year extension. And these moves are indications of what the DaCosta era will look like here in Baltimore. Now, every time that Eric has talked with the media since becoming the GM, he stressed something in particular, and that's that the Ravens will do everything they can to keep their talented young players. That's exactly what they did with Tavon. And DaCosta also said that he hopes to extend more players on this team before the new league year opens on March 13th. Now, everyone had kind of wondered what DaCosta would be like as a GM, and it's quickly become very clear that his priority is keeping homegrown talent. That's always been a philosophy around here. Ozzie stressed that. But with the Ravens freeing up some cap room by moving on from Flacco, they'll have even more freedom to keep their current players. Now, DaCosta has said that it's been tough to lose good players past years in free agency. And one way to keep that from happening is by getting in front of the issue with an extension before the player hits the open market. Now, the Ravens have shown that's what they want to do, and I expect that to continue this year and beyond. Now, if you want to check out Tavon's full press conference today with Eric and Coach Harbaugh by his side, go ahead and check out our CTV apps. We have apps on Roku and Apple TV, so go ahead and get those downloaded and check out that presser. That's it for me. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you back here on Monday.